help me welcome to the stage Dr. Bill Crawford. Thank you. I'm coming over here. I know, right? I snuck up on you, didn't I? Yes. Thank you. Good morning. Isn't it great when you get an applause before you said a word? Isn't that wonderful? Wouldn't it be wonderful if every time you walked into a room, people just started applauding? Wouldn't that be great? So, okay, I do have this PhD. I am a psychologist, but here's how I like to look at all that. Basically, I read all those books and took all those courses, so you don't have to. My job is to take everything I've learned from my training, from my experience, been doing this about 30 years, from my life experience, been on the planet over 70 years, that's where I got the gray hair, been married twice, the second one going on 33 years, so I got it right the second time, I know, thank you so much. Raising two sons, creating a business, I wanna take everything I've learned, all of that, and make it practical, meaningful, useful, something used this afternoon, tonight, tomorrow, at home, at work, in other words, I really, really want this to be about real life. Not a lot of psychobabble or theory or research, real life. Ways that you can become more influential in your life and in the lives of others. So again, because I want this to be about real life, just imagine that this list represents any situation that has ever gotten in the way of your clarity, confidence, and creativity. If your particular situation isn't on that list, just imagine that it is. And let's let this list represent any way we have found ourselves reacting to those challenging people or situations. So if your particular reaction isn't on the list, just imagine that it is. So again, dealing with kids and family and a lot of work and not enough time and bureaucracy, overthinking, oppression, not enough money, difficult people, stubborn, stupid, unreasonable, deadlines, deadbeats, in-laws, outlaws. We get frustrated, we get stressed, we get depressed, we feel defeated, we start to get angry, start to doubt ourselves, we feel overwhelmed, we get anxious, we get worried, we get frightened, and we go crazy. Okay. I think we got real life handled pretty well, don't you? <laughs> if we could learn to deal with this in a couple of hours, I think our time would be well spent. In order to do that, we've gotta understand what's happening here. Obviously, this is the trigger and this is the reaction, so this triggers this. Makes sense. Now, we don't like this, and so we go over here and try to change whatever made us feel angry, stressed, frustrated. Ever try to change kids or difficult people? Have you noticed they don't say thank you for sharing when you try to change them? <laughs> or money or oppression, sometimes there are things going on here that we can't change, which triggers another reaction. But this reaction is more problematic because now there's a sense of frustration there, a sense of powerlessness this and there. However, because we believe this causes this, we still go over here and still try to change this. We still can't, which triggers another more powerless reaction, and we try to change it in more powerless, more reaction, 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 and reaction until something explodes. I call this the cycle of stress, frustration. Now, I'm not here to say we have no right to feel this or that we're wrong for feeling this. You know, as I go around the world teaching this material, stress, frustrated, depressed, angry, defeated, self-doubt, very understandable. So I'm not saying we have no right to feel this or that we're wrong for feeling this, it's just that people tell me this gets in the way of our clarity, confidence, and creativity. So what I wanna do is bring you new information about how to break this cycle. Because I think it's the cycle that's the problem. For example, if we just got a little frustrated and we could flip up to clarity, confidence, and creativity, that really wouldn't be a problem. It's getting caught in this cycle. So there's a quote that I love, speaks to the value of new information. It's from Albert Einstein. It says, problems cannot be solved at the same level of awareness that created them. I like that, because I think it speaks to why we might find ourselves trapped in the cycle. We really don't know what's going on here, or we don't know what's going on here in a way that we can do something about it. That's why I always like to start with clarity whenever I'm helping people become more influential in their life and in the lives of others. So today, what I wanna do is give you new information, more clarity about what's called the what, the why, and the how. In some ways, we are already more clear about the what. We now know that it's not just that we find ourselves getting frustrated or stressed, but that we get caught in a cycle. Let's talk about the why or the science behind this. When I was getting my PhD, I really got a clear sense that this is what was going on. It wasn't just the fact that we get stressed or frustrated, but that we get caught in a, in a kind of a vicious cycle. And so I wanted to know the science behind it. So I left the psychology department and went to the biology department and took a course called the Biological Basis of Behavior. And in it, I learned that everything we think and feel and do and say, how we react to others, how others react to us, all has to do with how the brain processes information. 
So I've spent the last 30 years of my life creating a system, a philosophy, a framework that shows people how to access their best by accessing a specific part of the brain. I know, right? Pretty cool. And how to avoid the stress, frustration, anxiety, the stuff that gets in the way of our clarity, confidence, and creativity by avoiding a specific part of the brain. So now we now have new information about the what. It's not that just someone triggers a reaction, but that we get caught in a cycle. We have new information about the why, because we're being thrown down into the old reactive brain and we're triggering chemicals that are designed to deal with fight or flight. The rest of the seminar is going to be about the how. I'm going to give you a behavioral model you can do anywhere, anytime, that's going to show you how to shift from the lower brain up into the top of the mind and actually change the chemical makeup of your body from adrenaline, noradrenaline, and cortisol to serotonin and endorphins, chemicals that help you feel better and think clearer. And I call the system life from the top of the mind. It's what I get to go around the world teaching. It's what I'm looking forward to teaching to you today.